and it's about time to think about putting food plots in. But the first thing you should do uh, whenever you put any bigger food plots in, maybe not necessarily, you don't have to do it in, on small food plots, but take soil samples to see what the soil needs in order to get the best production out of the uh, your food plot, whatever type of seed you put in. Uh, what we're going to do today is take some samples of this area right here. This is a food plot we have. It's been here several years. And of course we have a cornfield in the background. But what we need to do is take all oh, probably six or eight different samples from different areas here in the food plot and just take about a cup full of dirt. Uh, we'll put it in this box and then we send it into Penn State Analogical Services at Penn State. And what they will do is they'll test the soil and find out what you need uh, to get your best production. So this is the first thing to do in a preparing a food plot. After we get the food plot, or after we get this uh, results back, once the green, the grass and stuff starts to come up, uh, we'll kill all the weeds with some Roundup, about two quarts per acre. And then after all the weeds are out of it, and then a Steve Troop, a friend of mine, probably one of the most knowledgeable people on uh, planting food plots is going to come up and we'll plant it and we'll just be later on in the year, probably May. So what we're going to do now is Hunter here, Hunter Barrett and I are going to go over here and take some samples so the samples of the dirt. So let's do that now, Hunter. Right here would be a good place to start. We'll just dig up a little bit of dirt. We only need it down a couple inches. Just take a little bit there, and then we'll just continue to go out through here and take about six different samples. So come on, Hunter. This, this wire basket we have right here, I had about four of these out uh, last year whenever uh, this was growing. What this does prevents the deer from feeding at this spot. And this is what this whole field would look like if we were left to go because uh, the deer couldn't eat anything. And this is kind of a controlled area. Uh, just to see what it looked like, see how much the uh, deer are feeding on this, to see how they have it mowed down. As you can see, everything else around here is just mowed down, eaten down, to hardly anything. So that's the reason for the basket here. So what we'll do with our samples uh, of our dirt is I'll take them home and let them dry and make them probably run through a sieve and make it nice and uh, make a nice test soil out of it uh, like I ran through the sieve it would be nice and fine but when we do send it into Penn State uh, this is the form that uh, what they check for and when they do take their analysis of it what they're mainly looking for is uh, your pH results uh, the acidity on it uh, phosphorus potassium nitrogen calcium uh, and there are a few other little uh, other minerals they check for is uh, copper and zinc and then they'll send a report back and tell us what type of fertilizer we need to you know put on the soil here to get your best uh, your optimum growing conditions so that's what we're going to do uh, this like I say this is the middle of March uh, we get the results back once the grass starts growing here, we'll uh, put some Roundup on it to kill all the weeds and that's when we'll do our planting and we'll, we will come back up and do a little filming whenever the planting is being done.